Living healthy is the right of every human being on the planet. If we think about adding years to life, we envision people living longer, but spending the most of that increased life with declining physical health and mental health. That's a very negative perspective of adding life. We think about adding health to those years, we think about functionality, independence, people being able to not only take care of themselves, but giving back to the society and the community where they live and work. That's a very different, positive perspective. Our mission is to extend health span for the benefit of all. Uh, Saudi Arabia is currently positioning itself as a leader in the region and across the globe in biotechnology. Over the past two years, Evolution has funded over 400 million US dollars in multiple programs, including partnerships, supporting science and impact investment. For example, Aovian Pharmaceuticals, Buck Institute, Saudi-specific postdoctoral program, and Northwestern University. And these are just only a couple, and there are many more. Evolution was created to advance geroscience and aging biology broadly, to translate that science into therapies that can actually help people, and to really work on the best way to deliver these therapies to people. So our approach to investment in general is we're investing in the science, we're investing in investigators. We're investing in translating the best of those ideas and those outcomes into new companies. And we're investing in developing the best companies to create novel approaches. What's clearly needed when we started looking at this as evolution was how do you bring everybody to the table? So they're not talking at different time points at each other but they're actually talking together, and that requires us to convene. In fact, we started that last year with the Global Health Span Summit. For the first time, on a single panel, we had a regulator, we had a venture capitalist, we had a scientist, we had the biotech startup CEO, and a big pharma company chairman talking, debating at the same time. The ideas that that generates, as you can imagine, are lots of future work streams. So in February of 2025, we're convening again. We have more people wanting to come and speak than we have slots. Unlike pure financial investors who fundamentally have to assess how risky is the science and could this translate into a drug, we care about that. We are aligned with the biotech and pharmaceutical communities because that's the best way to drive outcomes for people. But we can take more risk on the science. In fact, we should take more risk on the science to demonstrate how to de-risk that science into potential therapies. That will attract hesitant investors to join with us. And we'll teach the pharma companies about our approach and they can see the outcome of that work and get excited about developing these in a later stage for broader populations. We look at the impact of our, of our investments in both science and companies as an opportunity to change the conversation in the biotech and pharmaceutical world from symptom-driven therapies to intervening earlier in the disease process, hopefully before these devastating diseases become so entrenched. Every single human being on the planet is experiencing aging. The changing demographics in the world already indicate that the population over 60 is going to double from 1 billion to 2 billion people by 2050. We tend to hear, well, if a lot of old people live longer, it's just going to be a greater burden on society. Nothing could be further from the truth. If we could keep people healthier longer, not only do they need less resources, they're actually contributing back, either through formal work or informal work. Evolution is here for a purpose, and our purpose is to touch every single individual across the globe and to really contribute towards general health and wellness of the global population. Everyone has a sick member of the family. Everyone wants to help that sick member of the family, and I think 
through our contributions, we'll be able to prevent age-related diseases. We need to align everyone on both the urgency of the conversation, but also the need to take an integrated view on developing the science, translating the science, and bringing it to people, as Evolution was chartered and built to do. Humans don't want to just live longer for the sake of longer. They want to remain independent, physically, mentally, and financially. And so our mission is to enable that through scientific breakthrough, for this ultimately to be available in the clinical environment and ultimately to every human on the planet.